have the have these bastards actually done it? Have these bastards actually fucking Oh my god, there it is! Finally! Uncircumcised version! What do you mean you actually make it what the fuck look at this sword part? It looks like a roleplay gun itself that's pretending to be like a gun blade, but like no gun but what the f okay there's a separate part for the, the gun barrel that's cool and there's uh there's a grip parts extended grip part what? Right, holder, that looks way more solid than the plastic of before. And yeah, right ride booker. Right, ride booker. That's 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 pretty normal. Um yeah, apart from the fact that they've announced the version 2 of the Decker Driver, which I hope is going to have, like, say, show accurate sound, because, you know, the previous one doesn't, and also the K-Touch, the K-Touch, it's finally coming out, looks most the same though, I'll have a look at that in a second, I guess. Rider card set, okay, Rider card set, oh my god, oh my god, how much money do they plan to take from us? Right, the set, right, it's got the holder, it's got the... Active holder. Okay. Um, ride book holder can store four cards, and this holder over here can store six. Right, okay, okay. Yeah, this is a sound effect button. Yeah, okay. Right, so it makes the sound of removing the card, so I guess it doesn't do that by this mechanism anymore? This thing here? Okay, I, I don't know. But it says it also has the turning cards the other way around sound. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, blank card change sound. So when a blank card turns from a blank card to a card with a face on it in the show. Cool, cool, cool. Those are those have been added. Gun mode. Gun. That handle is to. That's the extender. That's what it is. That line there. It's to make it actually holdable in an adult hand. So when it folds up, the that bit's. Oh, it's got a weird shorter end up here, so it can actually fold flat to it. Okay. Okay, but you do have to change the, the barrel as well, because otherwise the... As you can see, there's no black bit sticking out here, but there's black bit sticking out here. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, so you make it adult size and stretch out. It's not really transformation, it's just swapping parts. Makes sense, makes sense. Especially when you consider this thing! God, it's 71 centimeters long. I mean, I suppose that's real size, right? It says specifically, you do not unfold the sword tip, you just... <laughs> attach the scissors. You just attach the sword part. Yeah, okay. Furthermore, adding the extender grip parts, you can take it to a form that's very close to the prop. And if you pull the trigger, it will make uh, slashing noises. Good, good. This is... God, I memed about it for so long and it's finally here. So this starts very, very, very... I'm actually scared. It is currently like 2 a.m. on the 9th of... November right now, which means in Japan it is currently 11 a.m. Which means this is gonna start while I'm in bed. But let's consider this. Let's consider this. It will release in May. Release in May. That's fine. Uh, the end of the pre-orders will be on the 1st of January. 1st of January. 1st of January. Um. So I don't know whether or not that will uh, last until then. But it costs 14,300 yen, including tax. So, that's roughly about in USD $126.39. Well, I guess I shouldn't have expected anything less. It's got everything you want, everything... It's, it's again, one of these situations where they just came and gave it to me in such a simple form that I... I, just, I don't know. I, just, I can't be excited. It almost makes me not be able to sleep. But at the same time, hmm, don't think I'm going to stay up for this. Let's have a look at the, uh, the version 2 plus the K-Touch. What exactly makes this different? Right, right, right. So it's, yeah, it's Burisuga in the Kamen Rider. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's everything. Yeah, there's the K-Touch. No, it's... Maybe this bit looks noticeably different. I guess the paint's probably... That's a clear piece. That's new. That's new. Uh, seven years. CSM Decker Driver. Seven years. I have the original one, so this is uh, uh, quite a gut punch if this is going to be different. So yeah, yeah, version two. There's a uh, Rider Cards Clued, 125, blank. Yeah, everything seems pretty normal. Yeah, seems pretty normal. Cardless details are here. Jesus Christ, how many cardless 
details are there? Right, so version 2.0. The card scan noise has gotten even closer to how it appears in the show. Okay, okay. Change the intonation of a few cards and added specific sound effects for certain cards. Okay, so that's good. That's good. That's 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 what we want. Okay, the belt itself doesn't look that much different. I mean, the engraving looks different, and this red bit seems to be red all the time. Is that how this is going? Red all the time? Instead of just being clear? And these things to the side, once again, I've taken quite a change to them. It isn't just a change in color like before. Now I've changed the mold into being more rounded, because before they were more like tubes with, with holes in, and they went from dark to brighter, I believe with uh, the update from Deluxe to CSM. Yeah, I guess they look more more real, more detailed, but this red's changing. So, you can listen to the, the slash sound here, as an example, and it says it's currently in development, so it might be different to the actual product, but in the actual product, after the card name, for each card, a specialized sound will play. Brackets, certain cards are excluded. So, if we click this... Damn! Damn, hang on. Give me a moment. Let me just set up my sources here. What's this? Slash. Yeah, it's loud, but at least that was um, very clear. Good, 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 good. And it's got the same buttons before, although, no, this is actually different. Instead of just having background music button, they've added a line button, i.e. quote button. This is a very modern CSM thing to do, and they didn't have it on the old one, so I guess it makes sense to add it now. So, saying his catchphrase right there, and then saying Henshin. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Uh, interview with him. I mean, a follower's YouTube, so I guess we'll be watching an interview. And the songs included are way more than the ones before, which were just the transformation song and the, the one fight song. So we literally have Journey Through the Decade here, as well as Ride the Wind and Treasure Sniper which isn't that the end song. Last time on Decade song, I presume that is, because it says Drama no Arasuchi. Um, then there's Hell World, Battle Skasa, Parallel World, Decade, Form Ride, Senshi no Tatakai, and Battle World. Okay, and there's X Final Attack Ride Hibiki. This song activates by scanning the Final Attack Ride Hibiki cards. <laughs> They made a card that does the scene that everyone always makes a goddamn clip of. Oh, that one scene where, yeah, he uses Hibiki and he takes down that giant crab. Goddamn. Okay, so they've changed the mold to be more like the suit prop, as it says here. So clearly red, and this jewel is clearly a jewel instead of just painted green, and this thing is, well, these things are clearer. And then there's the K-Touch. It says it's a completely new mold. I mean, I guess I can see that from the, the proportions up here. It does look a bit more like a show. I mean, this bit's smaller. Like, the screen bit's smaller, but it's probably because the rest of it's bigger. Um, I mean, this is not the best way to show this, because it still it still appears like a circular light that so Kuga gets a bit cut off. But anyway, apparently uses the soft LCD. I think that's what this is trying to get at. So you don't have to put any power into it. You can just cleanly slide to uh, press all the things, which does make it more show accurate than the original thing. Because the original thing, you have to press all the buttons, whereas in the show, you just slide across. So that's good. That's good. And you even has... <laughs> He has an Arataki saying, Onore de Kero! Right, okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Many lines. Many. Okay, sure. Right, the holder. By putting the holder on, the sound changes. Okay. By putting the Decker Driver's buckle part onto the holder, a few of the final attack ride cards, etc.'s sounds will change. Interesting, interesting. There's also a, a video here. That's, um, give me a moment. I'll watch this to myself and uh, tell you if it's said anything important. God, it, it really does have, like, permanently red visor and then just lights up more red. Cool, cool, cool. So this thing, the Decker Driver version 2 with the K-Touch is, you know, 36,300 yen. So this is going to be out of my range. I don't mean to make videos that are entirely about um, complaining about prices, but, you know, it just makes for such a good, satisfying end to a video. So this is the details of the card list, so it's just all the riders and their forms, and... Blank cards for them. On Gekibo Rekka's, hopefully, HOPEFULLY sounds right this time. Damn, I might need this thing just for that, but you know, I'm not gonna be able to afford it. Oh, Telebikun. 
I don't think that was included in the previous one. It's got 125 cards by this logic, so I assume all the other ones are here. So what exactly is the Rider card set decade then? Oh, you can buy all the cards that come with the version 2 and the K-Touch separately. Why? Just says, if you want to store them as a collection. I I guess. Yeah, okay, fine. That's a... That's, that's heckin' valid. But let's have a look at the extra cards. So we have complete section, rider card, set, extra. Uh, so all the cards will work with the Decca Driver version 2.0. That's, that's fine. So from the white Decca Driver of Decade to the black DN Driver of the End, all of the riders that did not appear in the show, all the way from Showa Riders to Decade. So what we have here is, what you mean now drawing? What the hell? You're not even going to put their names? 89 rider cards here. So we've got Ixi Gills. Not normal Gills. Okay, we've got Burden. Okay, just, it's Toki. I mean, you've got all these corner case guys. Yeah, okay. Uh, it just ends here. Just ends here. I mean, these guys are colorful. Actually got Mast Form cards for Kabuto. Seriously? Jack Form card for Yaren? I mean, these ones look like... These look far more like trading card art designs than the, the usual thing, so I'm not really sure what this is going for, but like Yuki Blank form and everything. The detailed card list is here, so this is just the same thing I was looking at before. Okay, it does have all the names now, but just not filled out. Kamen Rider Decade! Gekijo Tai! Violent Emotion form, cool, cool, cool. Kamen Rider Kuga Ultimate, Dark Eye. Kuga Rising Ultimate, Black Eye. Soul the Tiger Emperor, Night Survive, blah 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 blah. Akaki, what I assume that is. Uh, Tenki, Gatak, Hyperform, Dark Kabuto, Kuka Rising Dragon. Okay, so I think we've seen just about everything that there is to see here. That's good, that's good. Like, look at the ride booker, it finally happened. I can't make jokes about it anymore. I can't meme about it anymore. I was making jokes about this ever since goddamn Kaiser belt came out because it had the fucking sword but now I can't even make the joke and it's like 2 a.m. there's there's I I'm not in the correct mood for this Prima Bandai you have robbed me of the ability to make the joke forever now now I just have a weirdly accurate ride booker that actually does the things and while having to use weird attachment parts just does the job I guess I'll just have to go back to looking at pictures of the original DX Ride Booker and keep calling it the circumcised one.